So we have our dual image drawing tools over here. And what I'm going to do is choose to draw a 3D line. Okay. Now the process is to choose a similar point in each photo. So let's say we have this lighter colored brick and I'm going to choose the bottom left. And I'm going to come over in this image and choose the same point, bottom left of the brick. Okay, and I continue on doing the same, choosing the similar point in each. And what you notice on the right side, it starts to plot. And I'll go ahead and close this out. Now this is drawing in 3D, and I'll turn off the camera view in a second so that you can see the result. Let me, um, let's say we draw a 3D arc as well. Okay, so let's come over here and draw a 3D arc. And choose one point here. Come over, choose a similar point here. Where's our second point going to be? How about right here? And choose a third. Here. And here. Now you can see the arc is inserted and it looks good. So just to show you that we are drawing in 3D, I'm going to turn off this view. Okay, and now what you see, I'm going to zoom in on what we've been drawing. And you can see that as you draw on the two photos, you are drawing to scale because we're using oriented images which are calibrated for 3D work. In addition, you see the images floating inside AutoCAD here and at any time I can set up that image view again. It's pretty impressive and it doesn't require a special camera or a laser scanner. So how does it work exactly? Here's a quick explanation and if you need more details like I said we can help you out. But let's pretend we're looking from a top view and at the back here we have our oriented photographs. So choosing a similar point in each photograph it shoots a ray out from each one of those points and where those rays intersect that gives you a 3D coordinate okay and that's classic photogrammetry rules what we've done is simplified it because in the past photogrammetry can be quite complicated but essentially it's the same rules now in addition to monoplotting you can also take advantage of images if you have scan data so I want to show you how you can work with images and scan data in combination now to perform 3D drawing on top of a photograph. Let me close this example for our monoplotting. And I've got this example open in the background. Now again, a split screen on the left side I have my point cloud and on the right side I've got my oriented photograph and they're both sitting in the same drawing. So what we need to do is set up our 3D drawing settings. We need to connect the oriented image to a surface, and in this case the surface is the point cloud. So I'm going to select to add surfaces, and I'm going to select anywhere on the cloud. And now you see in the command prompt 3D drawing is available. Also available commands we make available here are simple lines, points, 3D polylines, but you can add your custom commands if you like. Okay. So let's get started with 3D drawing. And what I'd like to do is draw a portion of this curve. And I'm going to put in a 3D polyline command. And what you notice is instead of the command pro or the prompt next to the cursor saying node, it's now saying 3D drawing point computed because it's locating the best possible connection between the image and the surface or the point cloud. So please watch as I draw along the curve and in the left side you'll start to see the line result on the point cloud. Taking advantage of a high resolution image can be very powerful. If you zoom this closely on a point cloud there's really no way 
to see this kind of detail. And that's the advantage of combining photos with laser scanning. Pretty neat. Now to show you that we can do this in 3D, I want to just repeat that command. And let's say we want to draw on a window over here. So let's pick, draw on the corner of this window. And you can see the result on the left side. I'll close it up. And I'll go over to the cloud. You can see we're drawing in 3D. Pretty neat. Now a third option for you to work with the images is, of course, to overlay the image on top of the cloud data. Some people prefer this. Um, and it's uh, very easy. We just turn on what's called camera navigation. And ask me to select the image that I want to overlay. So I say, OK, this image. And you can see the overlay take place. On the left and right of the image is the point cloud. And of course, we have the image uh, draped over the points right now. If you like, you can also switch the order, which I'll do now. to bring the points draping over the image. And now what you see is points draping over that image. And 3D drawing is possible from here as well. It's really a nice functionality. Okay, jumping back in the show again. Our next step is going to be planar view.